Hi guys, I am back with another video. Today is gonna be a nice, really more informational, more all extensive workout routine. So I'm gonna let you go through my workout routine, which I'm gonna, uh, which you guys are gonna see in a moment, so. It's all about humanity. As you saw, this is what I basically do on a day-to-day -day basis, week-to-week -week basis, really. I really uh, separate my exercises into two segments, um, cardio and strength training. And um, as you can see, I also, um, I also implement, I mix a lot of things up. I don't just do one thing. I only do weight, strictly weightlifting because it gets boring. So let me really explain to you in depth um, if you guys, you know, the FTM guys really, really want to focus on building that muscle, really getting that mass building. So first of all, we're going to have strength training. As you saw in my weightlifting videos, what I want you guys to first focus on is really what we call compound lifting. Okay. Compound lifts, meaning they recruit a majority of muscle groups. The main compound lifts being the bench press, the deadlift, and squats. I'm, I'm sure some of you guys heard of it. Um, in my informational video, I show you the bench press, the squat, and the deadlift. These are the three main exercises. What I really do recommend is doing a full body workout three times a week. So one day, one day off, one day, one day off, one day, one day off. Start with exercising three days a week, really slowly build your muscle mass, do full body workouts. I'll give you an extensive list right here. Screen capture that, really get that routine down. This is a really beginner um, based strength training program. If you don't really know the moves, you can search it up a bit, um, but that's what I recommend. And really play around with the, with the weights, really work on something that you can focus on really contracting your muscles on the eccentric and the, um, I forgot what we call it, but really focus on contracting when you come up and when you go down. Because when you, you lift, that's when you contract the muscle. And when you go down, your muscle is still contracting. This is what a lot of guys don't do. They only focus on swinging the weights up, really eagle lifting, really lifting as heavy as possible. That will get you to grow some muscle to some degree, but it won't really um, contract the correct muscles. The slower and the more focused you have that mind muscle connection, the more you're really gonna feel the right muscle and you're gonna build the right muscle. This is a mistake that I made too. All I cared about was heavy lifting. I didn't get the results I wanted. My body didn't, I, I built some muscle, but my body didn't look the way that I wanted it to look because I was just focused on lift, lifting heavy and the muscle recruitment that needed to be recruited didn't get recruited so my muscles look really imbalanced the second part of the segment is um, what i did for cardio so as you saw i do judo i do rock climbing i also do a lot of running um, and that's a really important part not just because to burn fat okay so this is this is the thing strength muscle strength training builds muscle cardio reduces fat uh, you use this together that's the best combination which I can think of. Um, you can, by all means, if you're really more of a skinnier guy, you can build the muscle without doing cardio. But mainly why I really, really recommend doing cardio and I suggest doing cardio is good for your overall health. Have a really functional fitness training. Cardio for your health, it's, it's, it does wonders, okay? It's really good for your heart. You know, you're gonna feel more stronger. You're not gonna be as tired. You see those really big, you know, bodybuilding guys and they walk up the stairs and they're exhausted. Just for your overall health, really, really do cardio. I mean, just do, you don't have to do it every day. You can just do it once or twice a week. Have it at least, at least 60 minutes per week. Trust me, that's gonna change your life. And if you have a little bit of fat to really get off, it's really gonna help as well. Um, next thing, 
recovery, what a lot of people don't talk about. During your recovery period, you can do active recovery, meaning you go for a nice walk, a light jog, a light swim, or you can even go do yoga. I do that too because yoga is very, very good for your mobility. The, the more you train, the bigger your muscles get, the more stiffer you're going to get. You're not going to be able to touch your back as much as you're able to. As you see those big bodybuilder guys, they can't really touch or scratch their back. So really do something that will help your flexibility as well. That is also why I do judo. There's a lot of stretching. A lot of the judo guys can do splits. They're very, very mobile. Mobility is very important when it comes to recovery. And the most important thing is nutrition. You, your muscles don't grow when you're lifting. They grow when you rest them and you feed them the right things. What build, what, you know, what going to the gym, what lifting weights, what exercising does, it, it stimulates the muscle to grow, but you need food for it to recover and grow bigger. So really when you're recovering, even just in general, not even just recovery, when you're going to the gym, fill yourself with the right foods to have the energy to push as much as you can in order to break down the muscle tissue for them to grow bigger. When you're recovering, have the right foods, you know, recover correctly, you need enough rest because if you keep jabbing the muscle with exercise, it's not going to have enough time to recover and it's not going to grow. So eat the right foods, high protein diet, have good balanced carbs. Carbs aren't evil. You can have sugar by all means, but just have it in a very maximal way. So for me, I love desserts. I have desserts first thing in the morning because I know I'm going to work out throughout later in the day. So I use those sugars to really help fuel my workout. They're not out of bounds. You can totally have them. Really have uh, good, have some protein before working out and after working out. It helps um, what you call it, protein synthesis. So it helps your muscle absorb the protein more efficiently so that your, bu your, you know, your muscles will build, they'll recover more efficiently. Um, in terms of the nutrition part, the most important thing is also to stay incredibly hydrated, drink lots and lots and lots of water, try to get the rainbow in. So meaning eat everything with every color naturally. You don't want to be putting sprinkles on your food, okay? And also, in terms of nutrition part, I'm not completely professional, but this is just a really vague, you know, informational video of um, eating and exercising in general, but it's really for just when you start beginning your routine, um, when, you know, if you don't know how to start off and you really want to pack on those muscles, this is what I do suggest. So in terms of diet and nutrition, I don't want to go with, into too much into supplements you know, with the creatine and the whey, I don't want to go into that too much. I want you to build as much as muscle possible as you possibly can without wasting so much money on supplements because you can do it, okay? I don't take whey anymore. I don't take creatine. I've never taken creatine. Um, mainly, my muscles are built without any supplements. You can do it. It's possible. Don't worry. That's why they're called supplements. They supplement for you to grow more efficiently but by all means you know if you're some people you know you can't afford it these things are very pricey so you could by all means you can do it in a very natural way i think i'm rambling too much about diet and stuff so let's get it guys you guys can do it so if you like this video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and i'll see you guys